Okay, so I'm still here. We are going to continue. That was a weird way to, for me to put it. Um, <laughs> I am still here. We're going to go this way. Be safe, Lord Caron. Talking like it's all so vast. we're on the phone or something. <laughs> we're on voice chat. Like, oh, I'm still here. Hi, everyone. Hi, all. We're gonna continue on our way. I'm already getting a little rusty because I took a bit of a pause. Mmm. Take that. And take that too. Whatever that is about. Some green stuff. And take another green stuff. Ooh. Grab that. Huh. I wonder if this is how this whole area is going to be kind of different. Let's spread out for a larger section here. Look at those eyes. Look at all those eyes. <laughs> Yay. There we are. And break these enemies. Yeah. Game 10. Clarity. Clarity. I'm gonna gather. Oh, okay, so we can still have some gathering spots. That's pretty cool. Ooh, unseal. Yay! Bows nearby. This does kind of elongate this section of the game, I would say. Um, but it is also a sort of much needed break for the hands in a sense because it's like more places to travel to more space to run because one of the major things in Hades is that it will hurt your hands after <laughs> after a bit the boss rush mode feeling uh, especially when you get closer and closer towards the end it will kind of do a number on your hands uh, during kind of long stuff but here because there's more to have to traverse it's a Feels like a bit of a break, I suppose. Okay. What is with this miasma? Ooh, right here. Unseal this for sure. Get more and more life. We're gonna have so much HP. And we have that 200 level. Not level. Uh, 200 damage bonus. That I just really like that. I, makes a huge difference. I really think it is probably the secret to my success so far. 200 damage. Every time it goes... Every time it goes... I don't really need any of the green stuff, I don't think, but... Take it anyway. 200! 200, 200 health! 200 health is an... Ah! It's a nice amount. And I just got... Nabbed by a thorn. I mean, more like nicked by a thorn. Okay. I mean, I don't really want to go to the item shop at this juncture. I don't know, though. Could I live to regret not going to the item shop? Because <laughs> it might actually be a good idea to go. In case there are any... Um, there's so much to see. What am I trying to say? In case there are any health regenerating stuff here. I am running, running. Yeah, it looks like this is where we're going. I almost wish there was a bit of a map that might show up like after a certain period of running around. Ooh. Look at this. I'm gonna go with this, though. Yeah! In the name of Hades. Create a heartthrob when you use 30. When you have at least 80% HP, you deal more damage. Ah, no, I don't think so. Specials deal more damage to nearby foes. I'm gonna go with Heartbreaker. I don't quite know how to use it, but... 
guide you. Yeah. Oh. You're so loud. I know. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I know who that beast is. That beast is my... It's my good buddy. Can't believe I'm fighting him. He is a very important character. Arguably the most important character from Hades 1. It's Infernal Beast here. Wow, this is, uh... This is cool. I need more magic here. Moonwater? Yay, I was able to use Moonwater. Rah! Do 200 damage every so often. Oh, the Miasma is on its way. Mm. Oh. I don't really see how I'm going to be able to do this. Ah. Oh, I did damage to that one there. This one done. Yeah. <sighs> Infernal Beast. This is difficult. Ready, go. Guess I'll take down these ladies. Huh. Well, I have all kinds of magic, actually. See, my eyes are not on my health or on my magic, so I'm not really paying a ton of attention to that aspect. Where are you? Oh gosh. Ah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I do more short range attacks now, I think. Six HP special. Uh -huh. Not now. <gasps> no. <laughs> wow. That was a crazy run, though. That was a great run. <sighs> Ooh, new character. 
to contact you at such I like his hair. It's not my custom to intervene during moments of doom, only to observe. Moments of doom. Your Lord Moros, emissary of the three fates. So your sisters heard me after all. They expected me Moros. To say, there's something they intend for you to have. Wherever you're going, look for it when you arrive. I'm uncertain if we'll meet again. Farewell. More great voice acting. It's been an honor. Wait. He's gone. Moros. Moros. I just met Doom and Connor. Oh, meet Moros again. I'm not sure I should be excited about that. You're always you won't believe me. the crazy journey I had. It was amazing. And I met Lord Mordos. <laughs> You're still my favorite, though. Even another one there. Okay. Beard. Father, mother, brother, please be safe. Please. Oh. Poor Mal. Oh, I'm definitely gifting you this time. Did you to have this Dora to the best hunter in all the crossroads? Oh, rare smile. See, I knew you were gonna pull this gift custom thing on me sooner or later, so I have come prepared. Catch, yay for me, Thank ghost you, onion. Okay, You've check that out. Staring at that picture more and more. Happy family. Well, it's starting to get to me because I think it's starting to get to you. Don't get all misty on me, Mel. Thank you, Dora. Then you needn't worry. I won't get lost in memories because there isn't much for me to remember. I just wonder what my brother and my birth parents were like. Uh huh. Sounds awful lot like dwelling on the past to me. Nothing you could have done. Hey, you could be doing nothing right now. I'll give it some thought. Or don't. Salute. Moonlight guide us and all. I'm staying right here. Is Ooh, for C. This is from the Three Fates. Oh, see, I knew that was gonna be cool. Okay, the daughter. Okay, which of the crossroads? The daughter of the God of the Dead shall some evening prove herself against her superior at the edge of Erebus. Defeat Hecate in battle. Prophecy fulfilled. Hecate. The daughter of the God of the Dead shall use the silver pool to unlock the blades called Lim and Oros. Silver blades. Received another, another present. Mindful craft. The daughter of the god of the dead shall increase her grasp to 14 at her altar. She shall discover how after unlocking more arcana, not sooner. The fates expected this. She'll discover how after unlocking more arcana. Temporary setback. The daughter of the god of the dead shall some evening descend to the lowest reaches of the underworld and prevail in battle there. Prevail in the lowest depths. Ooh. Family in need. The daughter of the god of the dead shall reconnect with her closest comrades on Olympus. Allies of the Unseen who guarded her secret from the rest of the family. Meet the Huntress and meet the Messenger. The daughter of the god of the dead shall receive... Shall give five gifts to her comrades. Oh, I'll get that one soon. Uh, the daughter of the god of the dead shall possess each of the reagent... Reagent gathering tools revealed in the silver pool. We still need a silver spade and a rod of fishing. I'm going to give another gift... I think I'll give a gift to... <clears throat> well, first I'll see if there's anyone else I want to give a gift to around here. I'm going to give a gift to you. Curious about her reaction. Maybe we could start Yay. Here, I got you something. Don't need your charity, princess, or temptations while I'm on duty or off. You're doing this because you want something from me anyway, so here, knock yourself out. Whatever, Nem. Evil eye. Salute. Whatever. We don't that often salute her. Fates actually worked. That big scroll over there. That's really from them. Personally delivered by Lord Moros, no less. He seemed a little pressed for time, so we didn't get to talk much. Are the two of you close? We're children of Nyx. None of us are close. But we crossed paths. 
When certain mortals get what they deserve, it involves us both. I'm fond of her brother. I'm, I know now I her imagine. connections. The unhappy goddess of comeuppance casts her judging gaze on all within the crossroads, which she safeguards out of duty and of spite. Don't want to get on them's bad side. Whatever. <laughs> The fates indulged you after all. That is their scroll beside your tent. It followed you out of the shadows. Perhaps it can provide some answers. Would that it does. The fated list has tasked me with ensuring certain minor prophecies are fulfilled. Though says little else as yet. May it reward your efforts at least. But do not expect the fates to always favor you. Bane of our enemy is not necessarily our friend. We'll have to take our chances. Salute. Moonlight guide you. Moonlight, Moonlight guide, guide you. Us. Moonlight guide us all. No, they, I like when they say that versus death to Kronos. Oh my. my way in the morning fields. Ooh, what shall I pick? Create two soil plots for growing nightshade and other plants. Grants plus one. Mostly used with incantations involving obscurity and death. So, a farming sim. <laughs> farming sim stuff. Update the wretched broker inventory with exotic goods suitable for gifting. Grants one nectar. Sounds good. Go ahead and get flourishing soil. Unlock the farming sim. It's just funny. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Ah, right here. Seeds. Let's look. So, look around here. I'll do this. By light of moon, together, let us shape reality. So mote it be. Broker, you've expanded your shop. Yay. Divination of the elements. Reveal hidden elemental infinities of various boons. Olympians will offer boons that use these. The world's near limitless possibilities are composed of a scarce few elementary particles. Blessings from the Olympians bestowing godlike power for this night. I'll make use of the. I'll go ahead and do this. It costs five psyche. It's not much at all, five psyche. So mote it be. Now reviving of a mournful husk. Make use of golden bows in the fields of mourning to better orient yourself there. This seems really helpful, but I am curious if I should hold on to... You know, I'm just going to do it. So mote it be. And I think that's it. Cause a random main weapon each night to have grave thirst, granting bones after location. I keep calling them seashells, they're bones. <laughs> so, we need two lime for that. Now, what do you have here? Ash, Psyche, Fate Fabric. Nectar. Now we have nectar. I don't want to just get yet another nectar. But Fate Fabric seems like a good idea. We have one. And I'm going to hold on to that for a bit. Oh, we can salute. Salute. Moonlight guide you, broker. All right. What else is there to look at here? Oh, for C. Shall do the customary gift. Get like 10 of that. What else is there here? All right. Look at these shades, they're holding holding things. Denied. Denied. I wonder what's over there too. So many mysteries, right? Odds on assignment, huh? Salute. Hail shades. I got you this. A treat. <laughs> Hypnos. We'll sort this out. I'll gift you. May you have pleasant dreams for as long as you slumber. And if and when you finally wake, know that this nectar shall be waiting for you. Welcome to 
Mm. Right, welcome to the ward. You're safe here. Oh, I should have had that play all the way. Ah. Oh well. Can't go back now. We're going to plant some nightshade sheets. Seeds. Sheets. Seeds. And find some other ones in the future. Admire. I will admire. Thrive. Admire you too. Drink deep and grow tall. <laughs> what is this about? I'll go here. See about what we can add. What say the arcana? What say the arcana? Death. Oh my, what did I just do? I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. I I didn't mean to do that. What I wanted is to increase over here. Using Psyche. There we are. So now we don't have enough ash for things. I wanted to do this one right here. Um oh no, and I can't can't undo this one. I have no real choice but to select it now. Uh, let's see what else is possible. 6% chance to dodge automatically. It's pretty nice. Set forth each night with 200 gold. Gosh, these are fantastic. I I really regret accidentally pushing this, <laughs> this sword because I thought I was all the way to the other side to, I I had more. to uh, do that instead. So... How much would it cost for me to try to go on ahead and get more ashes? That's a pretty intense cost for ashes, I would say. Um, but at the same time, like, I don't really have a use for the Fate Fabric right now. Psyche, I don't have a use for it. You know what? Let's just, let's just get a bunch of this. We're always going to need ashes for this point. Oh. His life have laid down at the bottom of the sea. All sorts of nastiness lurking there, that the reports make clear. I wager you've seen some things. You'd win that wager handily. The worst of them has to be the sea monstrous called Skilla and a siren friends. They have this ridiculous act. What, Skilla's still around? With the sirens <laughs> no less? <laughs> It's a wonder you made it back. Oh, please tell me you didn't listen to a word they sang. I think that is one of my favorite boss fights in Hades, that fight. Salute. We'll get through this. All right. So, we've made quite a bit of progress. We have even more of this, but it's not enough, I don't think, is it? Oh, it is enough to do something enough to do that but we don't really need to do that what we need is just more in general and we can focus on i think getting this one is very important and we do have one cinder with which to do do that and this one is also important and it'll make a make a big difference and it only it only costs zero in terms of <laughs> how much it takes to equip it let's go down here i want to look at what these do too Deal 20% damage to the last foe that vanquished you. Currently, Infernal Beast is the one. This is a neat, uh, neat accessory. I would say if you get really stuck on a boss, right? This is kind of the one to go for. Uh, whenever you exit a location, fully restore your health up to 50 on this night. Wow. This is also a really good one. Gosh. Now I'm uncertain. Because I really like having the plus 100 but this kind of large amount of healing this is uh extravagant i'm gonna go ahead and use it just for the next one Here we are to all of you just joining up welcome Ooh, new shades within the haunted crossroads reside shades and spirits of all sorts some resembling their mortal selves, and others rendered down to purest essences. You all right, Homer? Nay. <laughs> Commander, you once held a place of honor in my father's house, so you must know Cerberus. Cerberus, I yes. I found him in the morning fields, coated in miasma, heads to paws. Was he always prone to uncontrolled fits of rage? 
Oh, no, he mostly sat around. We go way back. It's just I kept strategically afar, seeing as he's kind of like a dog and I'm kind of like a bone. <laughs> so now he's giving you some trouble, huh? It's not his fault. Kronos must have cast him from the house and put him out to pasture. But if I can just break through all that grime, I'm certain I can calm him down. He never did like bears, just so you know. <laughs> he never did like bats. I'll get through all that gloom somehow. All right. Thing over here. I know I'm so meticulous about all of this. Let's look over. So one thing I want to pay attention to right now. Oh yeah, I wanted to see about the uh, this stuff. What does it take? What do we need in order to get it? Hmm. Oh wait, sorry. I it's this. We need two of that fabric, and we need one bronze. We need ten silver. Yeah, actually, we should try to try to get that fabric then. <laughs> one of that, and then one bronze. To unlock fishing, I think that's a good idea. Also, let me go ahead and change what to prioritize. We'll prioritize this for now. The pick. That way, I think more things will show up that need the pick. So, Umbro Flames. We need one cinder, one silver. It's simply a matter of trying to beat as many the bosses as possible, and gradually we will be able to get Umbro Flames and see what that's like. This out. And over here. Definitely my next playthrough. My, I mean, my next um, next episode, moreover. We'll be able to this is my path. make a lot of progress yet again. Yay! To the house of Hades. The house of Hades. Erebus. So, anyway, it's the end of this episode for now. A lot of progress made. I'm very happy. Uh... You know, I just, this game is fantastic. Hades 2, absolutely fantastic. I am very into it. I feel like it is just as dazzling, just as enchanting as the first Hades was. So, you know, if you're interested in this at all, uh, I would definitely recommend it. But also, if you have not played the first Hades, I would also recommend the first Hades. Um, you know, Hades 1, Hades 2, you can't go wrong with either of them. I would say that... Hades 1 is epic enough that, like, if you are thinking, like, which do I choose, Hades 1 or Hades 2, I would go with first Hades, and then you'll more than likely, if you like that game a lot, want to play the sequel and enjoy the new features that it adds and all the new things it has, because... Uh, they're all worthwhile, all the new features. Uh, this is definitely a worthy sequel. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for spending this time with me. See you later. Bye.